Knock, knock. Hello. Open up the door to dreams. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that went well. That did go very well. Welcome to this week's episode of Jared and I Watch Love Live. It's episode 16, I think. I just looked at numbers and completely forgot about them. I'm Jared, joined as always by Doc Allen Ladium. Hello. We're talking about season two, episode number three, called The Door to Our Dreams. Mm-hmm. Where we're going to get very sports Love Live is a sports anime. It's true. Uh, so basically, we begin this episode and... Muse is trying to figure out where they're going to perform their song for the preliminaries. Mm-hmm. They're like, well, yep. we already performed here. We already performed there. We already performed here. Mm-hmm. Basically, they have the opportunity to like to stream it out to the the audience, the global global the nationwide audience. Um, but they're trying to find a place that they haven't performed at, and they're like, "Well, we went to the, we we go let's go to the field. Well, we performed here. Let's go to the roof. Well, we performed here. Let's go to the auditorium. Well, we performed here." <laughs> and it's just like, "What are we going to do? Hmm, let's we gotta figure that out because we don't want to look like we're just rehashing the old same old stuff over and over again. No, we gotta be look fresh and new every time. Big, big, important. Big, 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 big important. important. Yep, that's." <laughs> <laughs> that's it uh they get the idea to to advertise their forthcoming live by broadcasting it throughout the entire school and in order to do that they they choose hanukkah yeah okay she's a student council president she should be able to talk in front of an audience umi mm-hmm. which is a little worrisome and hanio which is also a little worrisome <laughs> Hanukkah kind of gets through hers, and she, but she's like rambling a bit. They put Ubi up there. She's like, uh, please, please go to her performance. Hanio is also like, please come to her performance. It's going to be very nice. Very much enjoy it if you come and see us. And they're like, turn up the, turn up the volume. Make it so you can hear. And then Hanukkah's like, yeah. It <laughs> just blows out everyone's speakers. <laughs> We're like, no, turn it down now. <laughs> Ah, and they're all like holding their ears afterwards. Like I still can't hear anything. I think they're up on the roof, like practicing. And he goes, "Like I still can't hear." Yep. Can I ever hear again? <laughs> Rip my ears. Rip your ears. Uh, and then they're basically still like, "Well, we got to figure out some place to go." Uh, they go off into into the city, and they're like, "Well, we performed here before, but like, eh, there's a lot of people around." What are we going to do? Uh, they eventually find their themselves in front of the UTX building mm-hmm. and are watching an advert for Love Live that is in partnership with Arise. Where like Arise is like, we're the defending champions. Come watch us defend our championship in Love Live. Essentially, like that. Yeah, basically. Um. So like they're all just kind of standing there, and. The the leader of her eyes like just runs up and is like steals Hanako away. He's like, I know who you are. Come with me. <laughs> yep. She's like, yoink. And um, then Nico recognizes her. Nico and, and like Hanayo both are like do like a, sp- a split take and like and then see each her. other and they're like, We gotta go now. <laughs> yep. Uh it's time to follow. They eventually catch up and like, oh my god, can you give us an autograph? Please give us an autograph. <laughs> Uh, and then they bring the rest of the Muse in, and they have like a a meeting in like the one of like the little mini rooms or whatever, like a meeting room in the the school, uh, which is a place we've seen before in Sunshine that they reuse. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, arises they introduce themselves. They're like, yeah, we know who we know who Muse are. And everyone's like, yo, what? yo, they know who we are. And basically, Arise is like, so you know, you're good at this. You're good at this. You're good at this. You're good at this. You know, you're you're very strong in this aspect of of the game. You're good at this. Oh, hi Nico. Thanks for all the flowers you send me. Yep. <laughs> it's really funny. <laughs> um so yeah, they like arises is like, "Here, hey yeah, we uh, here's our, our our self-made scouting report we've done on you guys and we know exactly like what your strengths and weaknesses are." Um and we did this because, like, hey, we th- we saw you guys coming up, and we thought you guys were going to be, you know, a group to worry about going into Love Live last year. 
but you know things went the way they did, so that didn't actually be the ca- end up being the case. Sucks to be you. <laughs> but essentially, like now, like now, it's like, oh well, if you guys are going to continue with Love Live, you know, we're going to keep our eye on you because we think you're going to be, you know, competition and everything. Um, and then basically, like they they end their meeting and Arise is like, yeah, you know, good luck. We don't intend to lose to you. Like, they just get real serious all of a sudden. Yep. And then Hanukkah, like, steps up and like, well, we're not going to lose to you! <laughs> and then, like, Arise is like, oh, okay. Okay. No, no. Okay. Um, they also offer, like, hey, why don't you perform on our roof with us? As, you know, as a, a symbol of, you know, joint cooperation. You know, we'll do a, a, a group, perf- or a, a dual performance together. Um, well, which seems like is very kind of, like, uncharacteristic of like why would these why would this group help them yeah but we learned quickly after like when the their when muse is about to do their performance like arise basically just like knocks out the park and everyone in muse is like oh god that's an arise performance how are we going to be able to follow that yep which is is a brilliant tactic like this whole thing uh that arise is doing is like is just is very much it's mind games it is very tactical it is very sports yep it is very very sports because you know if you're coming into this like you're they're the defending champions and everything and you know if you are the defending champions the the first thing you're gonna do is like hey how do we stay on top how do we defend our championship and everything and like while you'd be, you'd be like oh well it'd be great if we could just have like a smooth sailing easy path to the the championship there's also a part of you that's like, we need good competition to truly cement ourselves and to prove to everyone that we are truly the best. Mm-hmm. If we can crush the competition, crush everyone in front of us, even if they're really good, there it leaves no doubt in anyone's minds that we are truly the best school idols out there. Um, and that's why they basically have like this, they, they give like this scouting report on Muse and everything because like, you know, hey, we saw them coming up. They... They could be trouble. We should. We need to get to know like how they operate. What's their strengths and weaknesses? How can we counteract their group dynamic and everything? Because like obviously, if you are champions and everything, you're going to have to do that for basically all the top groups. So like Arise probably has has this kind of like you know knowledge of all of like the top twenty or so school idol groups, and especially the ones they encountered last year in in Love Live and everything. Mm-hmm. Plus, with the idea that, like, they're like, oh, yeah, come come do a performance with us and everything. And the fact that they go on first. Yeah. It's literally the idea of just, like, we are going to intimidate the f*** out of you. They're trying to, to make... psych them out. Yeah, they're trying to psych them out and basically be like, we're going to make your performance look weaker and worse comparatively because you're not going to be used to the nerves of performing at this high of a level and everything. And also, you had to watch us perform. Yeah. The best of the best. We won and Love Live. We won Love Live. You didn't. You didn't even come close. You didn't even participate at all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, it's it's very much just, like, very, very smart and brilliantly done of just, like, these very subtle ways that they're, like, just trying to psych out Muse and everything and, like, get, them, get under their skin as a way to, like, make them mess up and so they cannot be... They cannot do as well as they would have liked to. Mm-hmm. But that doesn't necessarily go the way that uh, Arias would have liked. Because mm-hmm. Hanukkah basically kind of psychs everyone back up. And is like, all right, hey, you know, that's an Arias performance. Let's show them a Muse performance. Let's show them what we're capable of. Um, they get a bunch of the, the other girls from the school to show up as well. Yay. To show support and everything. And then they perform You May Know Tabera, Tobira. That's the name of the episode. That is the name of the episode. And then that's basically how we end. And I think there's like one last shot of our eyes being like, oh, okay. Okay. I see. I see what you're bringing to the table. This is going to get real interesting. <laughs> but yeah, that is our, that is our episode. Um, I did not remember this episode being as like super sports like as it was, but like I really enjoyed like that dynamic of it. Like I like the idea that arises like these these highly thinking tacticians who are like, yes, we we're the champions, but 
we're not going to rest on our laurels or anything. We got to, we got to maintain this. And by doing that, we got to, we got to acquire all the data we can on all of the top idols. So, so we can crush them later. Wow. And again, further solidifying the, the fact that Love Live is a sports anime. Yep. That is a fact. There you go. Uh, only trivia is that the ending character in the credits was Umi. That's it. Well, Next time, we will be discussing Season 2, Episode Number 4. It's called The Number One Idol in the Universe. I'm excited for this one. Who could it be? Meh, who knows? Well, I guess I'll do it. <laughs> oh man so for now if you'd like more from us go to seasonalimacheckup.com or sac.cool where you can find past episodes of this podcast and other podcasts like Season Checkup and Season Checkup OVA you can also find columns and reviews on the site as well if you'd like more from Anladium go to anladium.com she's got columns and reviews you can follow us on twitter twitter.com slash anime checkup and that's it so next time <laughs> uh, join us for season 2 episode number 4 we find out the number one idol in the universe. Yeah.